Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Jesse and it's been quite a while since I've had this camera in my hand but uh, I decided I'm going to pick it up and we're going to try to make some videos. So today we're going to be out scouting for coyotes and trying to get permission for different lands to hunt, different fields and stuff to go to and maybe in the morning if it's nice enough we'll go back out to some of these fields if we get permission see if we can put down a coyote or two. So first off I just went to a house here and I got permission for a wicked field. It's got two valleys going through it and it's right on a river so I know there's coyotes there. I've heard them in the area before. So that's a pretty good one to have. We're going to drive around see if we can find some more so let's get right to it. Here's a partridge. Our scouting turned to a hunting mission. Oh no, he flew. Well, you don't get them all, I guess. I could have shot that thing, but I just wanted to get the camera out first and not just shoot it and then not get a video of it. But anyways, that's all right. I'm going to probably keep the gun with me now because I'm surprised I even found that bird because it took me about five minutes to get ready. Anyways, so I'm gonna keep on driving. We're gonna check out one more field and I just wanna take a look at it. I've got permission for it already. And then we might go on a little drive and see if we can find some more, maybe even a walk in the woods. Let's get right to it. All right, so we just checked out the field. It's not really that great. It hasn't been cut in a while, so the grass is pretty tall. It's probably good in the winter, but for now it's no good. We might go and try it sometime, but uh, we'll see in the future. So now we're just going to do some uh, good old fashioned Hollywood hunting. So welcome to New Brunswick. This is what we all do. We just drive these roads and shotguns in our passenger side there and try to find us some birds. So today is probably one of the best days this week to do this because uh, it's actually kind of warm today. So the birds will be coming out on the road to warm up and feed so this is the perfect time of day it's about three o'clock so we'll do this for a little bit until i get bored of it and then we might go for a walk in the woods and see if we can uh, find something in the woods or just check out the deer hunting spots so let's get right to it so it's not really working out for us this Hollywood hunting thing maybe I'm not doing it right but uh, anyways I know it is a little bit late in the season for this early season early in the fall there would be a lot of birds on the roads and a lot of the birds now are shot that were hanging out in the roads so it makes it a little more difficult but if you guys have never uh, done Hollywood hunting really the trick to it is is just get in your car drive around grab your uh, your gun of choice whatever you're hunting for me I got the I got the 20 gauge here and then you just drive the roads roll your windows down try to listen keep quiet and then just crank the music all right we're back and it is the next day Today we are going to be doing a little bit different style of hunting. We're going to be doing my preferred style, going for a walk in the woods. So today we've got the same shotgun and we're just going to take a walk through the woods here, go check out, see if we can find some rabbits or partridge. Because I really could use some rabbit hair for my camera for the windscreen because currently I'm using that little piece of foam. And I'm not quite sure how that's working out. so. We'll see with this video, I guess. Hopefully we can get a rabbit so we can fix that up and make it a little bit better. So if you see the next footage, hopefully it'll be on this camera right here. He found him. Now, can we get a shot at him? 
a little far for the 20 gauge, but we might have to try them. Well, we lost them. Yeah, I know, I probably should have took a shot, but I wanted to take one step forward. Yeah, that didn't work out at all. I took one step and he was gone. Anyways, see if we can find him again, but I don't know. They're pretty uh, sneaky today. It's very windy, so they're on the edge. But uh, now we know they're white, so they're easy to see. Now we know what we're looking for. Just in there, I don't think you guys will be able to see it. But I'm gonna try to sneak in there. I doubt I'll be able to get a shot because look how thick that is. But we'll try. Well, hopefully this camera just caught that. It's not gonna be good footage, but we did get that rabbit. Had to be very sneaky to get that thing. This holy jeez, this woods is thick, and I took my time, and I finally caught up with him. Let's go find him. There he is. Nice and white with a brown head. Looks like I got a good shot on him too. There he is. First kill back on the channel. Now this is how we started uh, this channel, was snaring rabbits. And we are actually in the same piece of woods I used to snare rabbits in, which is pretty awesome. And this uh, 20 gauge here, it, uh, I've never killed anything with it, so this is my first kill. But it's been so long since that thing's been fired. When I shot, it was just like I was shooting a muzzle loader. Smoke filled the air. I couldn't see the rabbit in front of me. So, that was pretty awesome. Hopefully we can get a few more rounds of this gun and maybe a partridge or more rabbits. Looks like we've got a new windscreen for the camera too, so. Let's uh, move on. We'll go take this guy with us. That'll taste some good. We'll have to clean him up and try him out. Well, it's probably been about five, ten minutes since I shot this last rabbit. And I already seen another one. So the next one, he was brown and white. I have no idea where he went. He went, he ran in front of me. And then, so I started chasing him. Then I seen him run beside me, going the opposite way. Couldn't find him. I probably could have took a shot if I wasn't carrying that rabbit, but uh, yeah, it's a lot harder to to hunt and actually film it because you want to get the the shots on video, like you try your best to, I guess. But the GoPro is actually dying, so I don't know if we caught the last video. I'm sure hope so, but if not, I'm gonna be try to be on the ball and we'll try to get the get a shot on video, anyways. All right, so we're back at the car now. I'm gonna go get that uh, battery charged up and then we might head back out somewhere else to see if we can go get a partridge or another rabbit. All right, we are back here in the woods and we are gonna take a walk down this trail and down through the woods a bit. I have seen rabbits here before and I've seen partridge, so this is a good spot to go after either or and hopefully we can run into something. Yesterday we did some scouting, getting ready for some upcoming uh, coyote hunting. Hopefully I'll have some videos on that. And I'm probably just going to keep filming the days until I somehow might end up with a coyote. We'll see. Hopefully I do. I'm going to do lots of scouting around, lots of, uh, get lots of permission for different places. So I'm sure you guys will be along with me for that. And uh, I'm glad to be back making videos. Hopefully there'll be lots to come. This winter I'm really looking forward to going ice fishing so you'll probably see some videos on that. Last year I did pretty good with the ice fishing so 
to take the camera with me this year. And today we did pretty good. We seen the two partridge just this evening, but never had a shot at them. And then we got that rabbit this uh, afternoon. So that rabbit's gonna help me because I'm gonna put a windscreen on this camera and my other camera. And hopefully it works good. I don't know how the quality of the audio was today, but I'm hopeful that it's all right. The winds are super strong, which make the partridge really uh, scared. So that's why I never had shots at the partridge. I see them, but they don't let me get anywhere close. So thank you for watching today's video. I really enjoyed making it. And that's all for today. We'll see you next time.